In HealthWorks this morning, did you know it's possible for your child to drown even after they get out of the water? It's called dry drowning. Joining us this morning is pediatrician Dr. Supriya Ramanathan with UT Health. I am glad you're here to talk about this today because it's not something that we talk about or even see that often, but it is a possibility. What is it? First of all, thank you for having me here, and uh, it's a very important topic as children start getting into the water this summer. Um, I think it's important not to be confused by terms like dry drowning, wet drowning, delayed mm -hmm. drowning, and so forth. Uh, the important thing is to understand that uh, when normal breathing is interrupted by uh, any liquid water mm -hmm. entering the lungs, uh, oxygen supply is cut off and that's essentially what drowning does is cut off oxygen supply. It can happen immediately with water entering the lungs or in some instances even with a little water entering you can have a spasm mm -hmm. in the larynx and uh, that cuts off oxygen as well and then the lungs pretty much get congested because the, the response of the body uh, causes the lungs to fill with fluid but the result is the same. With this particular problem that we're talking about, you, a child will say, gets out of the pool. Are they choking? Or they, what are the signs and symptoms we're looking for? So when there's submersion in the water, you will see that the child is struggling to breathe. Uh, there may be obvious submersion that everybody recognizes as drowning, or there may be a child who seems to sputter, choke, cough, and seems to temporarily get better. But um, what I would advise is for uh, parents to, uh, if they see a child having symptoms pertaining to having um, inhaled any water, not to overthink it um, or observe the child on their own, but to actually take the child to the emergency room because symptoms can develop over a period of hours. Mm -hmm. now, now, children we know, when they get in that pool, they're, they're up and down when we see this. They, they get water in their mouth. They're swallowing a lot of it. But this is going to be obvious symptoms, isn't it? It's not just going to be that they drank too much pool water. Um, it's not a matter of drinking the water, which mm -hmm. is uh, water right. going through the food bag it's into the stomach. Sucking it's sucking it in. It's water getting into the into the lungs mm -hmm. um, and what you will see is the child just not acting right not mm -hmm. acting himself or herself uh, possibly a color change listlessness um, trouble breathing breathing a little hard breathing a little fast um, coughing and sometimes chest pain and then it's time to get to the emergency room is it just to be straight safe? to the emergency room better safe than sorry and mm -hmm. remember everybody a child can drown in just seconds you have to keep a close eye on them all summer long thanks for being here with us